came before you, the legacy of your family. You are your mother, and whether you like it or not, you are also your father. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. just a thunderstorm. Everything's gonna be okay. Why weren't you answering my calls? Look, I'm sorry. I just... I think it's an EF5. What the hell's an EF5? It's like when two tornadoes come together and they form one giant tornado. Mom, I think something might be wrong. <laughs> Won't open! A tree is blocking the door! Can't we just break the door down? That thing is made of solid oak. I can't just punch through it. Doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? We have neighbors. Someone would have come. They're all dead. Why would you say that? What if it wasn't just a storm? Let me out of here! I need help! What did you say out there? Not a tornado. Something else. I was scared. Scared of what? Of you. We did something bad. I'm having 
conditions. Dr. Florence Weaver was found brutally murdered in her home this morning. Did you know her? No, but I saw her die. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing murders as they're happening. Hello? He says his name is Gabriel. I think he's someone from my past. Whatever happened to you before you joined our family hurt you in a way that I can't even imagine. Stop saying that. Mandy, who are you talking to? Gabriel. Is he your imaginary friend? Imaginary friend? Imaginary friend? He's the devil. Again, he's getting closer. He wants to talk to you. Mom, what do you know? He's coming for me. you do you run a stable i'm always looking for a good thoroughbred mm -hmm. having been sentenced to 10 years in prison i learned to count cards how'd you do that poker's all about waiting check raise re-raise call then something happens you remember it this is where all the good stuff happens <laughs> They made you the fall guy. You need to back off. You've been around him. He's a mystery. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is how it starts. Just a fleeting thought. You might want a piece of what I'm gonna do. Then it builds. Well, what is that? Set things straight. It doesn't matter to me if you did something bad in your past. Nothing, nothing can justify what we did. Just open we are each responsible for our own actions. You know the phrase tilt, just like a pinball. Any man can tilt. You can tilt. Is it possible to know when one reaches the limit. You have to be the strangest poker player I ever met. Oh, you have no idea. Yeah. When 
I'm in the mountains, life is so incredibly simple. Who impresses you right now? This kid, Mark Andre Leclerc. He's been doing all kinds of crazy alpine soloing. What I'm doing is on rock, and then I see Mark Andre free soloing on ice and snow. The first time I heard about Mark, he's living in a snow cave on the parkway or something. He is pushing things that is pretty much unknown. I'm Mark Andre Leclerc. I'm a climber, generally speaking. He's different than anyone I'd ever met. I love him for that. He belongs in a different era, and it was like wild. I can tell the Mark Andre stories all day, but he doesn't even care if anybody ever knows what he's climbing. It's more just to have a casual, fun adventure. I just hope he's careful. Anything can happen. I mean, I know it's dangerous. I'm not like deluding myself that it's not dangerous to go soloing. So why do it? Solo alpinism. Climbing big, technical mountains is more than just a sport. It's only for the very best climbers on their very best days. It's the art of surviving in the most crazy situations. Mark andre has some challenges as a kid. Climbing is like a form of freedom to be himself. When you're in the mountains, it's like all of the superficialities of life just sort of evaporate. Holy smokes! Corey Ager. Through going climbing. Some people consider it the hardest peak in the Americas. There's a razor's edge between genius and madness. That's a sharp, hard edge to ride. Mark dropped off the radar. A climber has gone missing. If death was not a possibility, coming out would be nothing. Not an adventure and not an hour. How was it? Scary? No, not particularly. But just another day out. <laughs> A really good day out. All right, boys, lock and load. So what are we dealing with here? Gun runners, gun dealers. It's two women who are counterfeiting coupons. This feels like a lot. You don't think we're coming in a little hot here, boss? Total is 138.55 cents. Is it? It's like a thousand coupons. Your trophy. Yo, yo, yo! It's time to save with JoJo. Is it hot in here? Or is it just me? It's you. <laughs> Mom! We have a mountain of death. Is this the best we're ever gonna do? How come I'm so broke? The system has set us up to fail. You know who gets rewarded? People who don't follow the rules. It's time we start bending them a little. <gasps> Where did you get these? When you send these companies a complaint, they send you a coupon for free stuff. All of these free coupons come from one factory. It's like Robin Hood. We gotta steal these coupons and sell them to families who really need them. That's money in the bank. I am the loss prevention officer. Thousands of these coupons are getting mailed out all over the country. We need boots on the ground ASAP. Oh, baby. Simon Kilmore, a US postal inspector. He said that they were sending the FBI. What do you do? You carry mail around or something? That would be a mailman. They carry the mail. I carry a gun. We are investigating a counterfeit coupon ring, costing companies tens of millions of dollars. We need someone who's had experience with this sort of thing. We gotta spread this shit out. I'm talking bank accounts, credit cards, a stash house, and aliases. Could you say it all again and like much slower? And do you have like a pad just to write it down? No, get out. Okay, we don't wing it, but we got it. We got it. You gotta let me in on this thing. Who's the girl, Earl? I think it's pretty clear that Earl doesn't know. Anything. Call a sketch artist. Call a sketch artist? Yeah, like, I... Who do you think she is? Kaiser Soze? <laughs> Queen is Coupons aren't about what you buy, it's about the feeling you get. They call it the coupon high. Supposedly it's better than intimacy with another person. So I've been told. Sorry, I, have you not used a coupon or have you not had sex? What happened? The website is way too easy to trace back to you. Is there anything else I should know about? I don't think so. No. 
Well, yo, 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 it's time to say with JoJo. I mean, how could they trace it? It back to your yeah, face. My, yeah, my face is right on it. Chicka, chicka, bang, chicka, chicka, bang. Hola. I'm sorry, what, who, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Uh. Surprise! You're so dead. You are such a drama queen. I'm mad. I want you. No! You can get away. No! Who are you again? I'm your Spanish teacher. So I have to speak Spanish for one day. Well, I actually bought the, uh, the, the hundred lesson package. Well, did you buy me a hundred Spanish lessons? Yeah. Why? Because you wanted to learn Spanish, dummy. Oh. Buenos dias, Adam. Yo no sé tu nombre. Oh. Todo el mundo me dice cariño. Como in, in Dirty Dancing, how everybody just calls baby, baby. Ah. Oh. I stalked your social media. What? I found out that it was your birthday, so ready, one, two, three, here we go. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños a ti. This is Will. My hombre. It's muy guapo. Hello? Is there anybody there? La verdad es que estoy un poco uh, perdido. I just want to make sure that you're okay. Sí. Lo siento. ¿Estás en Costa Rica? Sí, es donde vivo. Hola, papa. Dos personas pueden jugar este juego. <laughs> what I wanted to say, but I was kind of afraid to say, is... Adam. Yes? Adam. Yes? Stop calling me so late, so unprofessional. <laughs> Will the defendant please stand? Kempton Bunton, you were charged that on the 21st of March 1961, you stole from the National Gallery a priceless portrait of the Duke of Wellington by Francisco Jose de Goya. Not very good, is it? We're convinced that the Goya has been stolen by a highly professional international criminal gang. Mind your bloomers! Almost certainly a trained commando. <laughs> You're right. Bitter biscuit. One problem. What's that? Your mother. I can explain. I'm shaking. It's the shock. Shock? Yes, I'm shocked there's a stolen masterpiece in my wardrobe. What's he actually asking for? £140,000. For what? Charity. Good grief. I'm living with a madman. I'm tackling social injustice. I'm like Robin Hood. You're an idiot. The taxpayer paid for that bin. They could have given thousands to war widows and pensioners. It's for the greater good of mankind. Mankind? What about your own kind? How long will you get? I don't know. Ten years. You could have told me. We could have dealt with it together. You married young. I had to marry. I had to marry. It was love. <laughs> he is not a thief. He borrowed your Goya to do a bit of good in this world. <laughs> you can pay for pensioners and war veterans. Every time someone gets cut off from the rest of us, this country becomes a foot shorter. All my life I've looked out for other people and got into trouble for it. But I had faith. Not in God, but in people. How do you plead? Not guilty. Yes! For those unfamiliar with court proceedings, that was the plea, not the verdict. <laughs> Back when we had winners, I was afraid to lose you to the competition. Five times you won the All-American. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was before the accident. Before the booze. You know how many people told me to just cut you loose? You gonna say anything? Howard, I've always thought of you as a small, weak, and gutless man. But you know, 
There's no reason to be rude. You owe me, Mike. You gave me your word. And that used to mean something. My son, Rafael, he's in trouble. I want to get him out of Mexico. You want me to go down there and kidnap him? Please, just get him back up here. Just you? Just me. Hey, Rafa, you can come out now. I'm a friend of the family. Touch me and I'll kick your ass, old man. Jesus Christ. Get in the back. We go and I tell you, okay? Look, the only place you're gonna go is the hospital. You get too angry. It's not good for you. You used to be strong, macho. I used to be a lot of things, but I'm not now. And I'll tell you something. This macho thing is overrated. Just people trying to be macho show that they've got grit. That's about all they end up with. Like anything else in life, you think you got all the answers. I'm Mike. Marta. And you realize as you get older, you don't have any of them. We all have to make choices in life, kid. You have to make yours. His name is Macho. Like me, very strong rooster. Whatever. What's wrong with that? Nothing. The guy wants to name his cock Macho. <laughs> it's okay by me. Tammy Faye. What'd you do? Hello, Mother. This is Jim Baker, my husband. <laughs> it's all part of our mission to help people. Anyone who's hurting or they feel like they've been left out. God has a plan for us. What'd he tell you to do this time? Jesus keeps a ticking me higher and higher. Jim will preach and I'll sing. Higher and higher. God does not want us to be poor. Dr. Fowl, a pleasure. Now God has a voice in this fight. Who's he fighting? Liberal agenda. Homosexual agenda. Faith isn't political. You can't talk to him like that. Jerry Falwell is a powerful man, Tammy Faye. She's a firecracker, Jim. If everyone watching could double their pledge just for one month, God loves you. He really does. We're not doing anything wrong, though. Is that a question? Tammy and I are undergoing the most vicious attacks Serving God don't feel like it should be a money-making opportunity. You know, when I saw that clipping with my face on it, I thought for a second that you were proud of me. Oh, Tammy Faye, you follow blindly. In the end, all you are is blind. These eyes. I just want to love people. The devil's coming for me, Tammy. Can we talk about Satan later, Jim? is a patient of AIDS. I can't look at this. You need to get her under control. I built you an empire. You built you an empire. Some people, they're just hurting so bad, and we just need to love them. I want to put my arm around you. And I want to put my arms around you, Tammy Faye. <laughs> Go for it, looking in the rear view mirror of my life. This is who I am. Should I look into the lens? Uh, I don't think so. You get it? Yep. <laughs> Why was the movie never completed? Let's start at the beginning. It was supposed to be a music documentary. Concert footage, interviews, you know. I wanted people to know who I really am. So I asked my best friend to direct it. We're gonna film everything. Just be yourself. I love you. I was hoping to get a little uh, after show footage. Y'all just did. Double, double word score. 
Damn it. Read them and weep. You're nerdy and normal in real life, but the disparity between that and who you are on stage is jarring. I can be St. Vincent all the time so that I can be a little bit more interesting. This is how actors play rock stars in movies. Yeah, but you, you are a rock star. I mean, I know rock stars but like... I love you, but I'm married to the road. Have a good show. I'm here at the nowhere in When nothing and no one wins Where our last days are spent This is weird, you don't see that? I don't really see it at all. Hi, Carrie. We want you to film us. I need more say in how other people are going to act. It's a documentary. Then let's only document things I can control. We're in this together. Me and me. I don't think I know what we're doing. I can't elicit anything authentic from you anymore. What story did you think we were trying to tell? Your story. Of course. This is my story. Also, this is the only item I'll be selling at my shows. I'm invisible, that's where I'm gonna be. I got feet all over me, I'm not telling you where I am. What are you gonna arrest me? What are you people, please arrest me? You're under arrest. So why were you looking to get locked up, Theodore? Everyone's trying to kill me. They nearly killed us. What'd you do? I did what I had to do. To get to you, Teddy. The legendary Bob Vidic. You're a psychopath. I'm a professional. You pissed off the wrong people. I'm gonna kill you. Drop that gun. No one kills anyone in here. You say you fell? Yeah, yeah. Well, to clarify, I shot him in the head and then he took that little tumble. Oh, Lord! How bad is it? Are you an idiot, Teddy? Anthony Lamb. I'm going by the more friendly and less formal Tony these days. Clear off my contract. No can do. This contract is free fire, as there are competing parties for one Theodore Moretto. Bob, are we going to duel to the death? Get me out of here. Always and only about Teddy. Teddy Moretto, da, da, da. Here they come. Let's make a deal, man. I got a lot of money. There's no deal to be made. Come on, Teddy. You know how this goes. I need to know everything. All you have to do is let me blow his head off when I had the chance. Somebody help this man! He's gonna die! I'm coming in there whether you like it or not. Now you see the difference? That is a psychopath. I'm not leaving my family. What time is it? It's early. I got Jesse fed. I'll get her to school. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, got him. Okay. Antonio LeBlanc. How you get a last name like that? Uh, I was adopted. Is that what you wear today? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. It's a good choice. Come on, let's go. Where are you from? I'm from about an hour north of Baton Rouge. One by one, we build an empire. Where are you from? Like, born. Uh, I was born in Korea. Where devils roam, 
I got this baby on the way, and I'm just looking for another job. Kathy? Hey, where you going? What's where going on here? Hey, this is not your kid? Let's go. Hey, did I say Bye, you baby. can leave? Stop. I'm going to tell you one last time. Please. OK, that's it. Let's go. Let him go. Let him go. I posted bail. He should have been out by now. He is not here anymore. Ice took him. What? I just don't understand how they can deport him. I was brought here when I was three. Can't we do something about this? I mean, listen to him. Look at him. He's American. Ice is targeting people like you, adopted or not. I've been here for over 30 years. You also have a criminal record. <laughs> Come on, who's here for it? Nah, I usually charge 5000 to start. Are you getting kicked out? Nah, baby girl. I ain't going nowhere. Yo, Antonio! You know the drill, bro! Go, 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 go! You know I'd go to the moon with you, right? Keep on! I ain't scared. You can depart voluntarily. Or you can stay and appear. But if the judge don't rule in your favor, he can never come back. I'm not leaving my family. Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be an amazing day, and here's why. those letters to yourself with Dr. Sherman? I've been trying to. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Um, no one signed your cast. Now we can both pretend we have friends. I'm sorry about my brother. Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? I wish everything was different. I wish I was part of something. I wish that anything I said mattered. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. I'll, I'll, I'll just take it. Wait, I really, I need that back. Like you could fall and no one would hear. Connor took a letter from me and it was an assignment from my therapist. Ew. Even when the dark comes crashing through. Connor's mother and stepfather are here to see you. When you need a friend to carry you. Connor wanted you to have this. And when you're broken on the ground. Dear Evan Hansen, he wrote it to you. His last words. Connor took his own life. He won. I'm sorry Connor didn't write this. No, 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 please. It's this You will be found. And we didn't think Connor had any friends. I mean, you really gonna tell these people that the only thing they have left of their son is that letter that you wrote to yourself? So, you and Connor, tell us something, please. Right, um, I started talking and just couldn't stop. They didn't want me to stop. I'm putting together a memorial service. If you wanted to do something. Connor showed me that, that I wasn't alone. Nobody is. So, let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. I didn't know that you were hurting. Because when you don't feel strong enough to stand. A lot of people feel like us. You can reach, reach out your hand. People started sharing it. It's everywhere. I don't understand what happened. You did. I don't know how much you've given my family and me. You will be Were you ever actually friends with him? I never meant to make it such a mess. I was trying to help. If you knew who I am, just how broken I am. I already know you.